What is happening guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another car video guys. I do like these car videos guys. What do you guys think of them? It's a different scenario. It's better than being in the house sometimes. And anyways guys, let's crack on. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you know whenever there's a video. And also guys, make sure you follow my Instagram handle which I will put just down below. Anyways, we're going to cover a lot of easy shoes today. Today is like easy day basically and there's quite a few uses coming out this month as well. Um, so we're going to speak about the boots. Uh, there's two boots that are due to come out. Um, they're both like Yeezy 500. So the first one's actually called the Yeezy 500 High Sumac. And then the other one's called the Tactile. Tactile, basically. So we'll just look at them and just speak about what we think about them. And we'll just think, we'll just speak more on the Yeezy 500 boot and uh, its future as well. Uh, as there's been quite a few that have been released and... Um, yeah, we'll just get on with it. So today we're taking information from Sneaker News. This is not about reselling because this one resell quite well. This is just about speaking about these shoes and the release and what we think about them. All right. Okay, so let's just start right now. So as you guys can see there, we have got the, the Sumac Festival. So it comes in different shades of brown. So the sole comes in this deep dark brown then it's sort of like uh, it's met by a slightly lighter shade of brown on the bottom section then the front section got like a almost like a, a light brown sandy brown like um suede material to it then um the lace is actually red and then the lace holders on the side come in a, in a, in a washed um blue and then the top part of the shoes got like uh red which runs from the top of the laces to the back as well. It's as if it wraps around the back. And then in between that, you've got the ventilation um, shapes, which um, are like in a brown as well. So it's quite a busy shoe as well. And it's um, it's quite expensive as well for £220. Um, this is what I think about this shoe and these boots. Um, so they seem like as if they're like hiking boots, basically, right? And... Um, the only problem with these shoes is like, yes, they've got the hiking boot vibe, but at the same time, the sole itself is still like a, a Yeezy 500 basic sole. So it's not really like a hiking shoe as well. So it's a bit confusing. I don't know the design language um, behind the shoe. It's like an alien ship, like a mothership basically. And the price they're charging is $220 as well, um, which is quite expensive. Um, I mean, you can make this shoe work, you know, I mean, if you like Yeezy that much, because you get people that just like love Yeezy, that will buy every Yeezy. If you like it, then fair play. But um, for style and such, just from my own standpoint, I'm not really a fan of this. But if you like it, you know, fair play. I respect that. Um, resale wise, these are not going to resell for a lot of price. You will definitely make a loss if you buy these. So if you're like a reseller, I definitely, definitely suggest that you don't buy these shoes whatsoever um let's scroll down and look at the other one that we saw before this one's even better see i prefer this this has got like a bit of the m flame vibes so it's kind of like an m flame boot um they're called the tactile um as you guys can see them there next to each other and uh, let's just scroll down and just try and get some better images all right so there we are ignore the outfits that's the better image there guys um this is a bit better yeah this is a bit better yeah definitely um but still, at the same time, though, I think it's um, it's still not a very good looking shoe as well. I think with this one, like the blue does definitely go with the brown and the uh, the orange sole. And the orange sole doesn't seem to be as orange as the, the bright blue 700. So that's a good thing. Um, but at the same time, the shoe is a bit too busy for my liking. It's just there's so many shapes going on. Um, I just feel like. This shoe um, has got a lot of influence from uh, Wyoming, which is where Kanye West has been spending a lot of time in the farm. So I think he made this shoe, I think, with the influence of the hills, the mountains and the rocks and, you know, the sand. So you can see that, you know, this shoe has got so much influence from his surroundings in Wyoming. And I mean, fair play, I can respect that. He's, he's trying to like, you know, um, uh, like, uh, I guess, relate this shoe to where he, where he stays nowadays. But at the same time, as a high beast and as a shoe lover, for me, this shoe is not really one to, to buy. I mean, if it costs maybe, say, $120, then okay, maybe I might, you know, for winter, I might probably just get one. 
you know but because uh, it costs like 220 pounds that's like premium price really i'd rather get myself a pair of easy 350s this is not to blast the shoe in any sense but at the same time i'm just saying it's just a bit too busy maybe if it had like less designs or less shapes in it it more of a simplistic in a look to it then i'll say okay you know what i might just buy it because look at the air jordan ones um look at the air force one highs look at the dunk highs those are all simple shoes right this is a high as well or like a boot and it's more complicated as well so um i think it's a bit too futuristic for us right now i think kanye is living 50 years in the future and we're just like you know what i mean just dragging you know just dragging along so yeah guys that's the end of my video guys please make sure as I always say, make sure to subscribe, make sure to watch the video, make sure to share it as well. And I do appreciate you guys supporting me and I will see you soon, man. Come back again today, yeah? Got three or four more videos to go. See you later.